How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. In the last episode, we battled Mew at the Mystery Jungle and recruited Zapdos from Amp Plains. And in this episode, I have a new mission uh, that we ha that we got. I actually had to put this in through Wonder Mail because I did almost a couple of two weeks, almost in-game weeks, trying to find the next one, and it never came up. But we got this one here uh, put in through Wonder Mail S. This is Explore Mount Avalanche. Uh, received the special mission, Mount Avalanche Exploration. Special mission, yes, this is the same sort of deal. There sleeps one of the world's seven precious treasures, an icy flute. The best luck to you. All right, and yes, down there on the same area where Blizzard Island is, actually, so that should be interesting. Yes, it's going to self-destruct. And also, you might notice a couple of things different. Uh, Poog is level 45, which means we get to do something that I've been wanting to do for a while now before we set off. Also... Um, upon pausing, we hit the ultra rank. We ranked up again, so that's pretty awesome. So, since Poog hit level 45, I believe it's time to finally go to Luminous Spring. Let's get going, and let's get Poog up on, uh, Gobo and Nigel's level in terms of evolution. I'm excited. Let's do it. A voice emanates from somewhere. You who seek awakening. This is the Luminous Spring. Do you seek a new, evolu a new evolution? Yes. Let's see who can evolve. Weedle, Meryl, and Croagunk. Oh, we could actually have a Toxic Rogue. That's kind of cool. But anyway, let's evolve Poog. Poog. You should evolve into Metagross. Yes. And a pseudo-legendary Pokemon. You who seek awakening, let us begin. Poog's about to be awesome. And his spirit's changing. Nice. He evolved into Metagross. Yes, so the team disbands um, once you have somebody evolve. So I'm going to have to go and uh, get everybody around, both Nigel and uh, Poog up, despite Nigel being behind me anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and cut. Okay, everybody, it's time to set off to Mount Avalanche. Let's do this. I don't know if I've actually have that job accepted or anything like that, but I think it mostly just gained us access to it. Um, so let's go ahead and head to... Where are you? Mount Avalanche. Let's do it. Yes, it's the destination. Let's go. And Poog is now Metagross, so that's awesome. Gonna see what he's like there. He's still, I think he's still gonna talk like he did, like he, god dang, like he did when he uh, talked about it. But anyway, let's see. Fun, fun, fun. So fun. With Gobo. Yeah, he still talks weird. But anyway, welcome to Mount Avalanche. It's a 20 floor dungeon. It's not as long as the other ones. And it is ice themed. So um, Nigel is at quite the disadvantage. Let's see, do we got anything? I got some silver spikes. I guess when the team dis like disbanded, we had to get rid of their hold items as well, but nice. The everything's everything's back in order now. I'm gonna go ahead and set Crunch for now. Let's see if we can handle this Altaria normally and ow. Don't you give me a natural gift? I don't want anything from nature. Who do you think I am? I I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Tried to segue into being attacked. Uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a tough world, man. Speaking of, why is the... What did that say? Something is boosted by one level? Um, hello. I thought I set these. Maybe I didn't. I think maybe I got distracted. Um, the last, the video from yesterday for some reason has like no views and I don't know why. Can, can you chill? All right. I'm not sure why it has, they have like no views. Also, isn't that awesome how Metagross kind of floats around like that when he attacks? He kind of gets up and levitates like that. Like, nah, it's awesome. We got like a little crab dude walking around with us. Now he's not a scary floating, you know, severed head with arms. Now he's like, now he's like an entire crab shaped demon monster. <laughs> Metagross is a def it's definitely a weird looking Pokemon. I have to, I, I do have to say that. Ah, Weavile, one of the coolest Pokemon ever. One of the coolest Pokemon. Let's all, let's get going. Oh, oh, also, I gave, I've been giving Gobo some um, gummies lately, and he finally got non-sleeper, which means that we cannot be put to sleep, which is weird. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm late into the, late into the game. Inter you know what? You two are both water types, and you're sitting there dodging my stuff. I'm going to electrocute you both. Both of you are getting electric. Except friend plump for whatever reason. He's like, whatever, you want to try and electrocute me? Dude, I'm friend plump. It's, it's such a oh oh yay damn conditions. I was gonna say what? I was gonna say we're not we're not uh we're not What the heck? Oh I was like what is this? What is this guy doing just sleeping there? I thought he was awake for a second. I was about to say we're not GB Damn conditions, what it but whatever man, I'm happy with that. And Man, my team is on fire right now. Freaking Metagross. Ah, oh, he looks so cool. It's, this is what I've been waiting for to get him to level 45. It took a while it took a long time. And, but he's finally there. Um, it sucks that I couldn't actually show him doing it on screen, but it actually happened when 
I was uh, doing some missions to get us up to uh, the ultra rank because I was like, well, we're close, so why not at least give it a shot? Hey, I'm not, I'm not falling for your fake tears. I'm not falling for them. Okay, I was wondering if Nigel had his moves on, um, all of his moves back on, because actually, um, I had to take a lot of Nigel's moves off because one of the missions we did. Oh, look, it's Armaldo, yeah, from uh, the Jiggly, the Iggly Buff story. One of the missions that we did actually had us involved us fighting in Ampharos and like a squad of Chinchow, like a lot of them. And like, like I'm talking like eight, eight Chinchow. It was weird. I didn't expect that to happen. It was an arrest mission. And Ampharos was just like, can I, how come I can't see like anything? I can't see where any, where these stairs are. Maybe I just can't, maybe I just can't, or it's in the room we just haven't gone to yet. But man, I have a hard time finding the stairs. Yeah, I was gonna say, I have a hard time finding the stairs on the ice themed levels. Anyway, Mount Avalanche, we'll conquer you. Movement speed of ice type Pokemon. Oh, that's what it was. I thought it was like all ice type Pokemon boosted by one level. I was like, well, that's crazy. <laughs> like, that seems a little unnecessary. Hello, Empoleon, my least favorite of the water starters. I was just having this con conversation with somebody the other day, talking about um, the starter Pokemon we chose, and I just. The, he, he said that he really liked Piplup, but I. Piplup's the Piplup family in general is my least favorite of the um, of any of any starter. I don't not of any starter of any water starter. I just I just don't I just don't like get him Nigel for God's sake. I'm being constricted. Why ain't you helping? He was just like cool. You sit there. Look at that freaking. Do you see him like sprinting? I'm getting hurt by a whirlpool. Oh no. Ooh, you're a horrible monster. Get him Nigel please. You moron. Look at Poog doing more work than you. He's like, he's like, get him? Like, should I use slam? Like, no, dude, forgot. Look, uh-oh. This is not gonna be, this is not gonna end well. I'm, man, he's, he should've been, this is not gonna end well. Poog, Poog, no, oh, wow, I thought, oh, just finish him off then, Poog, you got this. No! Why, all right. Oh, uh-oh. All right, if he's just gonna sit there and constantly use Endure, get out of here then, man. We don't wanna deal with your garbage. Where the heck is the way out of here? He's done, this dungeon, I see it's not as long, but it's like, it's hard as F to find where we're going because the dang snow. Why they would have made the stairs but a similar a similar color to the snow, I, I have no idea. Hello, because that is the that's one of the biggest gripes I have. I thought we would like finish this all in one episode, but we're on like four six in the first like we're over like Where's the way out? I can't find the exit. Am I am I just missing something? Am I dumb? I'm not, I mean I might just be unable to see it. Is it in that bottom room? Or wait. Oh no, there's a place there's a spot we didn't go to yet. I can see it, it's just I can't find it! Dang, oh, and then, now they're just throwing me a bone. They're like, oh, you can find it, here you go. No worries now. Except if you had to deal with the slacking. But anyway, we're good. I'm just really happy to see that we got poo. Oh, hello, are you about to square off with us, Prinplup? Dude, this dude is like, all about dodging them. No, mm -mm. I'm the one with the silver spikes. Although I wish I'd, I had the sticks. Uh-oh. Excuse me, are you challenging the might of Poog, the Metagross? Dang it! For God's sake, go down. For God's sake. Nice, well done. Well done, Poogie. Oh, I was gonna say, why are you running so slow? But I forgot that you were slowed. <laughs> I hate that. It's, I, you know, it was weird. When I was doing those, dun like, the side dungeons to get Poog to 45 and also get to the Ultra Rank, I was, one I was like, thinking really about, like, how... How like creative this game and like this series in general has been to adapt Pokemon and uh, kind of all the things about it, like I'm saying, like speed or anything like that, and change it into the world of like a changing dungeon like this. Like speed is no longer based on you know who's gonna go first and attack. Like speed now is all about um, you know how fast you actually are. You like if you're down a speed, if you're down by one level, they're gonna they're gonna mess you up. They gonna mess you up. Get him, Nigel, for God's sake. Dude, you think that you would know. You'd think you'd be like, that's a Prinplup. I should use a grass type move, but at this point in the game, but he's just like, maybe Nigel's turned into, maybe Nigel's turned into what Charizard turned into for Ash in, uh, on the show. Like now that he's fully evolved, now he's like a cocky douchebag and he's just like, think I care? I'd, I'd be willing to bet. I could see Nigel. 
Hello? I could see Nigel doing that. I could see it. God, there's so many just like annoying little nuisance Pokemon that just keep showing up. But man, I'll take all this money that's ha happening. Oh, nice. I was about to say, if it's a sleeper trap, I'm not gonna fall asleep for that. Not gonna happen. Alright, let's go. Let's go! What do you have? Is that an aqua ring? Okay, I was wondering if you had indoors as well. Look at that freaking deli bird. He's just hunting us down, trying to give us nice, peaceful, happy presents. Trying to give me happy presents. I don't want them. I don't want no presents from him. They could be lethal. Get them. No. Get them. Get. Yeah. Well done. Well done, Poogie Pants. Ugh. Ugh. Remind me to never say that again. That was gross. Smooch him. I don't got no space for you, girl. I want to. I don't know. I don't know how much space I have left on my uh, on my uh, roster for the Chimco assembly. So I want to recruit more. Oh. oh, it's an action, but not for Poog. But did you see that? Did you see that was an action, non-sleeper? Gobo cannot fall asleep. You, hello, you cannot pull. You cannot pull a GB this time, my friend. You cannot do it. Goodbye. Oh, he just can't. Oh, I was gonna say he just can't move. Ooh, a slacking. Sure. I just turned down something and then I was like slacking. Why not? Because dude is beefed up. Like, look at him. He's like, whoa. I should have named him Donkey Kong. He looks like Donkey Kong. Dang it. Or her. Miss Miss Donkey Kong. Dang it. Smooch him. No, you're lame compared to slacking. Oh, man. I missed a golden opportunity. I should have named her Candy Kong. Uh, oh, well. Yeah, I was, I was playing Donkey Kong 64, the, uh, the remake on the, um, on the Wii U, and I, I, it, it's been a long time, and I remember that game being way harder than it was for one, because I was playing it, and I was like, wow, I used to have trouble with this? <laughs> like, maybe, it, maybe it just, uh, things just got easier for me. Am I on the same floor where Charge got locked? I don't remember. Yeah, I am. Oh my god. This, this freaking floor, dude, it's gonna be the last... No, I was gonna say no, but uh, it was not. Oh, yay! Proceed, nice. But anyway, I couldn't remember. I never remember just how crazy, like, not like sl slutty or anything like that. But like, candy is so like sexualized in that game. It's it's insane. I was like, oh my god, and the stuff that she said. I was like, can you put this in a kids game? <laughs> like. I guess that was the 90s where it was a lot more free reign. Uh oh, what, what are you going to do, Slack? It's pausing and doing nothing. Uh oh. Yeah, he's gonna be wasting our revivor seeds. No slacking. Go home. Yes. Get back. Get out of here. It's just the it's just the trio. That's that's who goes on these adventures, slacking. Maybe you'll learn that one. All right. Okay. Uh, 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 okay. Bye. <laughs> God. Maybe Slacking will learn that someday, that it's that these adventures are meant for just the three of us. They're only meant to be the three of us. I don't even know what I'm gonna do for the next episode if we're like, we're at a weird spot. I figured we'd be done with this in one episode. What is with these floors? Like, why are these dungeons? Why is, why are they constantly, why are the stairs always in the last room? Give me a break. What is with this, what is with this floor? Thank you. Oh no. Not everybody needs to hit this. I know it looked like fun poop, but trust me, you get hurt during it. It wasn't fun. You see how... Now the, oh, no, okay, I was gonna say, now these rooms are tiny as crap. Please hit everybody. That was my last discharge. Lots of people died. And, except for Pilot Swine? I didn't even see that guy. Ooh! Ooh! Don't, don't, don't. Come on. What happened? Don't. No, I was gonna say, don't use Earthquake. Chill. Don't use Earthquake, man. Don't use it. Get out of here. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm probably about to run out of my other moves. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I was about, they're about to unlink is what I was. Uh, Deli Bird. Oh, haha! -ha, you missed. Not today, Santa Claus. Not today. Man, I would love it. If we were close to the, don't, holy crap, I hit for 50. Chill. Must have been a bad present. Nigel must not have liked it. Nigel must have wanted to return it the day after Christmas. The day, the day after Christmas. I never, I always would like, I had friends who would always like, want to return gifts and stuff like that because it wasn't like what they wanted for Christmas. 
or holidays or whatever they would celebrate. And I always, I always think, thought like I'd feel bad for returning it. I mean, I understand and stuff, but and I, I mean, I've done it before if it wasn't exactly the right thing. But if it was something like somebody just kind of got me, <laughs> forewarned made it evaded. Okay, too bad you're still dead. Jinx, jinx. Thank you. That's that's how things go. If I can't. If I'm not killing them, I just scream, bellow at them until they die. I go like, ah, ah, and then they eventually die. <laughs> but anyway, I've never, I've, I've always, would have, I'd always like feel bad about like, come on, what are with these jinxes? I get it's got forewarned, but chill. No, that was not forewarned. Why? We missed it every time. Like we missed that jinx every time we tried to attack it. Come on, we got like no floors left, and I'm about to run out of. Time for this episode. God dang it. No, Meryl, I don't have time for you. I you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. I got I got three pure seat. Here's what we're doing, folks. Here's what we're <laughs> I can, uh, why why? Is that my punishment? Is that my punishment? Hi, Golduck. Is that my is that ser that that had to have been my punishment for trying to cheat the system and use my last pure seeds. I like how Nigel just bailed. He's just like, that's cool, but I'm not dealing with that. <sighs> Come on. Uh, why? I just want to end up in a room where there are... Oh, that's not good. Hello. Hello, madam. Hello. Um, Altaria. Bye. Okay, good night. Oh, <laughs> freaking weird. Were we in the room and I teleported to it? I am so mad. Were we in the room and I teleported to it? Come on, and then we... We missed that, that... Mm, then I could have teleported now, and then we would have been, like, done. In this episode! I shaved off a lot of time by doing that, though. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm. Why am I charging? No. Just, 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 just hit him! For God's sake, Gobo! Dude! Why do you, why do you miss all of the jinxes? God! I don't want to go against any more jinxes. We're going to finish this. I want this in this one episode. That was the plan. So I get all of Mount Avalanche in one episode. That was the plan, and I would like to stick to it. That was the plan when I began this, and I understand I had that little bit with Kuga at the beginning, but I want to stick with it. It's going to be longer, folks. It's going to be longer. Go off, dang it. Okay. I, I, I get it, Altair. Right. Game! Game! Pile of swine! All right. And if a Jinx shows up, about to rage. Nobody kill. It was innocent. It was an innocent little baby, and Nigel's like, murder it. But anyway, welcome to Mount Avalanche Peak. We did it, yay! It's time to get a new treasure! Thought it's time to meet its guardian. Yes, it's Articuno! Very fitting since we just met uh, Zapdos in the last episode and recruited it. Seekers of the Southern Treasures, I am Articuno, the guardian of Mount Avalanche. It, if it is the treasure that you seek, conquer the freezing cold. I challenge you to surpass your limits. Demonstrate your power to me. Now it begins. Sound a lot like Mew, who sounded a lot like Giratina, who sounded a lot like Rayquaza. I was gonna say, whoever we went against first. All right, same plan. <laughs> You're confused. No, he... Did he just... Did he just dodge it? I wonder if he's got non-sleeper. He does. Well, um, why don't you guys freaking do so... I wish that... I hope that in the new one, you don't have to tell them to hit people and they're just like, wow, there's an enemy in front of me. Maybe I should do something about that. Like, God. AI is, the AI in like these old games, man. Whoever wrote them. Is Nigel like bailing? Is Nigel just like, mm -hmm. no girl, I ain't doing it. Ain't nobody got time for, so it's just gonna be Gobo and Poog. First is, that was, cru that was, that was cruel. I have to hand it to you, that was cruelty. Good thing I have discharged, but that was pretty that was pretty messed up, Articuno, Articuno, Goon, Articuno, but it died very quickly. We defeated it, didn't die, no one in Pokemon dies. It's time to get the next one, which is the fourth of the seven. 
contained an icy flute. And we obtained the, an icy flute, one of the seven treasures, and no recruit from Articuno, but that's okay. I figured we probably wouldn't. He has pretty hard. He's pretty hard to recruit. And we put in a full day today? Yes, we did. That was a very eventful episode. Did a lot. Poog evolved, and we uh, got ourselves the icy flute from Articuno. So awesome. Only three treasures remain. Let's make another great day. So uh, we're going to end the episode off here, guys. Next time, we're probably going to either hunt some legendaries with a mystery part, or we'll be... Um, trying to find the fifth seventh of the seventh treasure but anyway guys thank you very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure from me to you have a very nice day and i will see you guys next time